For more than a third of patients with major depression, treatment with standard antidepressants is inadequate. Sub-anesthetic doses of ketamine and electroconvulsive therapy, or ECT, are two treatment options for drug-treatment-resistant major depression. A new study evaluated the comparative effectiveness of these two treatments. In this randomized open-label non-inferiority trial, 403 adults with major depression without psychosis that was not adequately treated despite personal trials of at least two antidepressants were assigned to undergo three weeks of either intravenous ketamine or ECT. Ketamine was infused twice per week, and ECT was delivered three times per week. The primary outcome was the proportion of patients who had a treatment response, defined as a decrease of at least 50% from baseline in the score on the Quick Inventory of Depressive Symptomatology self-report in which scores range from 0 to 27, with higher scores indicating greater depression. Patients in the ketamine group had a response of 55.4%, and patients in the ECT group had a response of 41.2%, demonstrating the non-inferiority of ketamine. Most secondary outcomes were similar between the treatment groups, including quality of life improvement, and treatment response based on Montgomery Asperg Depression Rating Scale score. However, ECT was associated with decreased memory recall. The ECT group had more moderate or severe adverse events, including musculoskeletal effects. Some patients in both groups had suicidal ideation, and one patient in the ketamine group had a suicide attempt. The authors conclude that in adults with major depression without psychosis, sub-anesthetic ketamine was non-inferior to ECT. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.